Hey everybody, it's Jake from Wild Academy. Welcome to day 32. Today we're going to be talking about procs. And procs are essentially reusable blocks. So let's go ahead and create a block to kind of show you this. Let's first create our array. So we're going to do uh, people1. We're going to set it equal to... Uh, let's just do their ages. So we'll do... 54, 21, 45, do whatever you want. Just type in some typical ages of people. 67, uh, five. All right, so that's probably good. Now let's use block to exclude everything or let's use a block to exclude everyone that is under the age of, uh, let's do everyone under the age of 30 here. So how we're gonna do that is we're just gonna go ahead and type people group, uh, let's see, uh, group one, let's do group one. And we're gonna set that equal to people one dot uh, no, 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 we're gonna do um, dot select here. And then we're now we're gonna write our uh, block. Our block is going to check each item to see if it is greater than 30. So let's do our pipes and we will do it as age and we'll do age is greater than 30. Hi, Sagan. What you doing? Play. Hey, it's my son. He's grabbing some crayons. Okay. So let's move on. We're going to now just puts out group one. So let's just do puts group one. All right, let's debug this now. So we're just gonna go up here and hit the play button there. And you can see that it puts group one of only those that are over the age of 30. So we have 54, 45, 76. Can you see that down here? The point of this lesson is to teach you how to use this block uh, again, make it reusable. Because blocks aren't technically an object in Ruby, even though pretty much everything is an object, but blocks aren't objects. We need to create procs and lambdas, which we'll be talking about in the next tutorial, in order to make these reusable. And how you do that is, let's just create another array. And in that array, we're going to, we'll just name it people2. And we'll just set that equal to a bunch of different numbers as well. So we'll do 21, 54, 65, 32, 65, 87, 21, 12, 12. All right, that's good. I'm gonna get rid of that right there. So now when we come down here, we wanna create a group two. And group two will be the uh, people two dot select. So we're checking group two is equal to people one dot select of ages that are greater than 30. People two dot select. Now the dot select just as it as the name in, infers, it selects the items that are that are above 30. So here we will do our pipes, do age, age. And can you see why this is getting annoying? Can you see like, okay, we have to do this again for this one? And what's great about creating the proc is that we're not gonna have to type this again. So this is not the most efficient way. And so instead of doing it this way, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna leave that out for right now. We're gonna delete that. And we're gonna now make this a proc that is usable. 
And how you do that is we're just going to copy that right there and come up right here. And we're going to do a, we're going to give our proc a name. So let's do over 30. And we're going to, we're going to set it equal to proc dot new. Just like that. And then we're just going to paste in our block. Now we're going to call our block on group one here. And instead of using these curly brackets, what we're going to do are curly braces. We're going to do parentheses. And we're just in order to call a proc, what you use is your ampersand or your and symbol. And you're just going to type in over 30. Just like that. Okay, simple. And what's great about it is that if you set up your own standard for using the over underscore age, then you'll always know what you're going to call if you're within if you're in your, you know, deep in the code, you won't have to remember what it is you use. So how you would an example is, is what if we have an over 21 as well, let's create an over 21 over 20 one. And we'll just we'll create that proc here proc.new and then we'll do our pipes age age now this is just we, we talked about these iterations when you're going over each individual item within our uh, array now over 21 we're not setting it 21 or over we're just setting it over 21 okay just let me let me clarify that we could well let's whoop, let's do it this way there we go. Uh, then when we call out uh, people two here, let's come down here. Now let's actually just real quick show you the over 30, over underscore 30 here. See how I've, I've reused this block now? I'm just going to save that and run that. Let's get rid of that space there. We don't need it. Save. Now wrong number of arguments. Um, and the reason for that is that I have a dollar sign here. There you go. Now save, and then we'll go through this. So um, we're not using the over 21 yet proc. We're just using this over 30 proc on group one, people one dot select. We use this proc, which is this block, this, sorry, this proc, which is this block, and we insert it right there. So if we wanted to do a third group, we could use over 30 again and again and again. We can come in here and just quickly erase that right there and just type in 20, one, over 21. And then we can just save it and run it. So we have 54, uh, 54, 45, 76, and 67. Now the reason we're not returning, I didn't notice this on the last one, the reason we're not returning uh, group two is because we didn't do puts group two. So let's do puts group two now. It's funny that I didn't even notice that. We'll save that and we'll run it now. So now we've got uh, 65, 32, 65, um, 87, and 21. So this initial group one is only giving us those who are over 30. And this group two is giving us those that are in people two and are over 21. And that is my son knocking. So I'm going to go feed him lunch and I will see you guys in day 33. Peace. Hello. Kid. Love you. Okay, say bye bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye to the. Say bye bye to the. Say bye bye to the students. Say bye bye. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave those in the comments. And I'll talk to you soon.